Hello, hello, it's Sharon Hartley from My Keto Journey. Welcome, it's great to have you with us. We had done one other video previously this morning where we made keto bagels. So go check out that video. Oh, they are so yummy. So excited to eat those. But this video is explaining how to cook spaghetti bolognese bake keto style. So I have already prepared the spaghetti squash. I'm going to show you what a spaghetti squash is if you don't already know what it is. Let me tell you first who I am and what, how far my journey has been so far. My name is Sharon Hartley and I've been following ketogenic lifestyle now for 16 months and I have lost 102 pounds doing keto. I am so excited to get to that wonderland or wonderland. Um, as such, I have never actually been that size before, so I'm really excited. That will be my all-time low for my whole entire life because I've suffered with obesity and obesity, morbid, morbidly obese all my life. I started off at 305 pounds and now I'm down to 202 pounds. So I'm really excited to hit that milestone and I hope I have you with us when I do get down to my wonderland. Yay! Anyway, I thought, hmm, I'm going to make this this morning because in the North Carolina at the moment is going to be 98 Fahrenheit today and I do not want to heat the house up twice. So I'm having my oven going. So you need to set your oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. This will be cooked for 45 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Every oven is different. So we have our spaghetti squash. This is what a spaghetti squash looks like. So we have two halves of the spaghetti squash. They've already been already uh, the, the, the meat of the spaghetti squash has been taken out. So basically you cut that in half and you want to be very careful when you cut it in half. You want to make sure that you have a very sharp knife. If you have a blunt knife, you are at risk of cutting yourself. So make sure that you always sharpen your knives, that you have a handy dandy knife sharpener just like this and you will do the, the knife like so. I'll show you. I have been in hospitality all my life. So you will do this and then go down like this and go down like this and just keep going as fast or as slow and that is going to sharpen the edge of your knives so you want to use a good sharp long kitchen knife like that to open it up then once your uh, spaghetti squash is open in two you want to put some extra virgin olive oil all over rub all over the inside of the spaghetti squash so inside the spaghetti squash then you want to add some pink Himalayan salt because we do use pink Himalayan salt on keto for our electrolytes that'll give it a bit of taste a bit of seasoning some maybe some black pepper if you like then put that in the oven and face down on a cooking tray so a cooking tray just like this what I've got just like a cooking tray like that and you want to have it face down and cooking for 45 minutes. Once the 45 minutes is up and on 350 degree uh, Fahrenheit, you want to turn them over the last 10 minutes, say, when they're cooking. So, you know, you'll have a little spit, but not too much. So then you take them out of the oven and you get a fork and you just grate the fork along and all in the, the spaghetti squash and it'll make like spaghetti, sp spaghetti noodles. So here we have our spaghetti noodles in our 
casserole dish. This is a Pyrex casserole dish, pretty old. So you get about roughly that much for two uh, spaghetti squashes. So basically I have browned my uh, ground beef, 85% uh, uh, and 20% 20, 20 fat. So I have browned it in my um, frying pan. I had minced, mixed and minced the meat up really well. And I had added some onion powder to that, which I got this from Aldi's, Aldi's or and Big Lots carry this, Walmart carry this, any of your grocery store, five season, season onion powder. Be careful with onion powder because it can have a little bit of carbs. So I just eyeball it. I just put it in as I like. And then I put some Italian seasoning in. This is stone meal. I believe I got this from Save-A-Lot. Um, and there, oh, this is distributed by Eldies. And this does have uh, rosemary, marjoram, basil, thyme, oregano, savoury and sage. So it's a whole mixture of Italian seasoning. And you want to get yourself a low-carb uh, pasta sauce. There's not a lot out there. There's Rayos, Ray, uh, R A, R A O S, Rayos. It's rather expensive. It's about eight dollars a, a jar. Um, I found that I um, got this this sauce, this pasta sauce. I got from my local food line. It's called Taste of Inspirations Authentic Italian. It does have a little bit of spice. To it, this was roughly eight carbs with four dietary fiber, so it's four net carbs, and it has five sugars. So, you know, you're going to have a little bit of sugars in processed stuff that you buy. So you just want to add this tomato paste or pasta sauce into the mix. Now, you could cook that into your spaghetti sauce, but you don't need to because it's going to cook in your pasta bake anyway. So you just want to make sure that you get all that. This has a little bit of spice, so a little bit of a little bit of a kick to it, but not too not too bad. I actually they had these on closeout, so I got all three on closeout. So I'm very happy about that. Otherwise, you can make your own low carb marinara sauce as well. Um, people just you know, make their own marinara sauce, and that's great. I think that if you can make things from scratch, that's excellent. Make things from scratch because it's a lot better for us with low carbs. I'm just moving here. Yeah. Now we're going to just mix that together in our meat. We have a little bit of, of our fat in there, so it's nice and greasy. But it's good fat because that's what keto is about. We want good fat. And so we're gonna we're gonna pour that now into our casserole dish. Pour it over evenly. Okay. We want to pour the meat over evenly. And we just want to pop that in our sink. I hope that you're all having a great day, and I hope that you're all keeping cool with this summer weather. Ooh. I have a fan on at the moment. We have pretty good air conditioning, but sometimes it can go out. Let's hope it doesn't. So you've got your meat fully over your, your uh, spaghetti squash noodles. And this is going to be so yummy. My husband's going to love this because he has done low carb before with me, not so much keto, but then he went off of it when I was in Australia for three months. But now he's back on the keto wagon, so I'm really excited. Um, and so you're going to then add your two cups of already pre-grated mozzarella cheese. I don't like to buy pre-packaged cheese because it has cornstarch and it has uh, anti-caking agents, and that that can stall your weight. And I just don't. I like fresh. So you want to make sure that you put your cheese all over 
the bed all over the past today. This would be roughly around seven net carbs per serve. So a serving would be probably around two big heaping spoonfuls of uh, the spaghetti squash and the meat it's, it's basically really no carbs um the spaghetti squash i believe is around three net carbs if i'm wrong i will uh put it in the description box below the cheese basically that's your fat and your fat comes from your meat as well meat is practically uh no no carb kind of but make sure that you get the um higher fat meat if you're doing keto because keto is lower carb lower your carbs medium protein and high fat we want it to be high fat so i'm going to put this in my oven now and this is going to cook for 45 minutes when it's ready it will look um kind of melted on the top brownish on the top and we'll take it out and we'll eat it for lunch and that'll be our lunch and dinner for today so that will be my full day of eating diary as well if you follow that um you can see i have three meals a day this is probably going to be an omad day for me one meal a day today um so this stores really well in the refrigerator just make sure that you have it covered either with foil or cling wrap or you can put it in a container as well uh, this meal for the two of us for my husband and i i'd say we probably get about three meals out of it so this is sort of like a meal planning prepping uh video as well if you are new to my channel and you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you join me on my journey and many others like me. And I would also like to invite you to my Keto Journey Facebook group. If you would like to go to my YouTube banner, you can find my Facebook tab there. If you click the Facebook tab, it'll bring you to our community uh, on Facebook book called My Keto Journey. We're a community of over a thousand people now. We have recipe ideas, keto tips, keto lifestyle. We talk about the whole lifestyle. We share our journeys, our before, after, and during pictures, uh, transformations, our success stories. And every Friday we have a seven-day free of charge meal plan. I am certified meal planner, so I put seven day a week meal plans out that are tried and tested by myself and by my husband we wouldn't not give you the yummiest and most delicious recipes that there are out there on the ketogenic lifestyle because we don't want them to be boring we want them to be delicious and we want them to be easy affordable and simple this is this dish that i had just shown you is very affordable I would say this dish would cost under roughly $10. Your meat is going to be the most expensive that you're going to purchase, but pretty much the cheese, the squash, it doesn't cost much at all. And if you already have your seasonings on hand, that that's great. You can add any seasoning that you want. If you don't like Italian, you don't have to do Italian. Sometimes I do Greek cavenders. I put that in there. So, you know, you can tweak the recipe as you like. Like I said, this will cook now for 45 minutes. I will put a picture on my thumbnail of what it's going to look like after. It's all dressed up and pretty on the plate. So look out for that. We will be having another video coming up about my Havanese, my little Havanese dog. He has been doing a ketogenic lifestyle as well for over a month and I will be doing a little live chat and showing you and telling you his progress. I'm really excited to share that with you because he has had weight loss. So if you would like to join me in that chat later on today, I'm not really sure what time I'll be on, but if you see me on